James Kaufman, World News Report Today. Ladies and gentlemen, we have two space rocks that will make a close approach to Earth, flying between Earth and our moon, one this evening and one on December 13th. We'll start at 2025 XF1, making its close approach, flying between Earth and the moon on the 13th of December. It's not an enormous space rock. It's close to 35 to 40 feet in diameter, moving very slow at under 4 kilometers per second. And we'll zoom in and take a look. There is a slight inclination, but it's minimal. Move over here to where Earth and it will come very close to one another. And we'll move up to the 13th here which is right there, and you can see they're one and the same. That's 2025 XF1 to make its close approach on the 13th of December. Let's get some detailed information, then we'll take a quick look at the rock that's going to pass in just a few hours. All right, taking a look at this rock, 2025 XF1, we see it has a condition code of 6, 0 being that they know exactly how large it is and where it's headed, 9 being they have no idea. So it's somewhere in between. It was first announced to us today, December 10th. Try to stay on top of this for you guys. 17 total observations, first seen on the 8th, just two days ago. Very few observations. It was seen by our AI automatic software here. And it is inbound. And I'll give you an approximate time. That it will make its close approach. Flying in between the moon and earth. Although I think this rock is going to be closer to the moon than earth. Alright. So I was wrong. It's going to come closer to earth than the moon. Point zero zero two astronomical units. It's going to come through December 13th, and that's at 17 UTC time. That's going to be really on the 12th at right around 7.17 Central Time. So look for that rock on the 12th. Now, uh, again, not a huge rock, 35 to 40 meters in diameter. I will tell you how many miles away that is, but that's going to be a considerable amount of mileage. And coming through very slow here at 3 to 4 kilometers per second relative speed here. Wow, never seen one that slow before. Let's hope it doesn't have any friends. And just as I suspected, the moon being about 230,000 miles from Earth, according to mainstream science, this rock's going to be about 150,000 miles above Earth. Nothing to worry about unless it has friends. Take a look at the second rock flying between Earth and the Moon later this afternoon. All right, here we have 2025 XB1. This rock should be very small in comparison to even the other rock. Looks like it's heading along with the other rock almost. Very similar orbit here this rock is thought to be about 20 to 25 feet in diameter its close approach will be in just a few hours from now 2025 xb1 you can see it is a slight inclination and we'll have to see how fast it is moving it's going to fly between earth and the moon they also picked this one up on the 8th they reported it today on the 10th. As you can see, total observations 18. Condition codes even higher. Less certainty here. Very close to 9, being they don't know a dang thing about it. Condition code 7, as released. First spotted by our automatic AI software here. And we'll get some close approach data. Again, this one's coming by in just a few hours. And this one's 2025. XB1. They were unable to extrapolate almost any information. They have the close approach here is all nothing beforehand, nothing afterwards. 
Closer approach, December 10th, 2016. Give or take a second. And it looks like it's going to come very, very close to us. Point zero 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 eight astronomical units. And I will give you all the miles in just a moment. It's moving quite a bit faster. 8.61 kilometers per second. You did see it was at a slight inclination. The rocket's only about 30 feet in diameter, they think, with a condition code of 7. And I'm going to translate this 2018 into, well, let's see. This will be going by in about, about 318, 320. So about two hours from now. About two hours from now, very close. I'll give you the miles out. This one's going to shoot by at about 60,000 miles, 60,000 miles above Earth. Now, we have satellites that are a million miles above Earth, like Discover and ACE. They're at Lagrange Point 1, which is a million miles away. While satellites like our GOES satellite only orbits 22,300 miles above Earth. So this one's going to be in the mix of things for sure. So that's 2025 XB1. Information just released today. It will make its close flyby at about 320 in a couple of hours here. Rock's about 30 feet. It is coming in a slight inclination, moving at 6 kilometers per second. And condition code is 7. In two days, on the 13th, really, we decided it was going to be about 717. On the 12th, we have a much bigger rock that's going to fly by. And that rock could be 40 to 50 feet in diameter. The information was just released today. Close flyby on the 13th, really the 12th, at 717. The evening of the 12th, uh, slight inclination as well. Moving very slow at 3 to 4 kilometers per second. 2025 XF1 condition code 6. With that said, folks, well, lots of things are happening. God bless you guys. If y'all get any Aurora Borealis pictures in the next day or two, send them in for our contest on the 12th. The one for the seating has been waxed, i.e. there was no strong geomagnetic storm as predicted. It was a G1 today. Please share, subscribe, and always remember that anything's possible in Bizarro World.